Hello everyone, um, my name is Vivian and I'm a jewelry designer with fashion background. I graduated from Bachelor of Fashion Design Honours in RMIT two years ago and currently I'm studying another bachelor degree in fine art, majoring in gold and silver smithing and I have been working um, and running workshops with a lot of galleries, museums and organizations including NGV, um, immigration museums and I've also um, um, been invited to, um, to run workshops during Melbourne Design Week and Melbourne Fashion Festivals and since 2021 I've um, done a few um, artists in residencies including one with McKinnon Secondary College and it's a program that um, Regional Arts Victoria has initiated during 2021. Um, as my art practice, I work a lot with materials and um, especially sustainable materials like electrical wires that I'm wearing right now. <laughs> and I also make my own materials such as rice fabric and rice clay. And I, you know, when Renin told me to come up with you know, a speech that is five minutes and to talk about my life as an artist, I find it really difficult to just like, summarize your life in five minutes. <laughs> um, and I thought I'll just like tell you some stories about my art journey and how I have, you know, slowly discovering my value as an artist through my art making. When I was in um, high school in VC and I wanted to do fashion design, so I said to my parents, and my parents was like, why is that? Why don't you do law? Why don't you do like business or become a doctor at the end? Because that is the industry that makes money. And I simply didn't listen to them. And luckily, my parents cannot um, speak English. So I did not. <laughs> so I basically enrolled myself into RMIT. Um, and in high school, I went to a workshop by Jenny Bannister, and some of you might know her here. She's very popular in the 60s and 70s with punk fashion, and she used a lot of uh, sustainable material to make her fashion. And after her workshop, um, I experimented a lot with recycled materials. So I collected rubbish or waste from household, and I made my very first pair of um, rubbish earring um, <laughs> using uh, plastic, you know, the packaging foam. And then I showed it to my parents with excitement. <laughs> and then my parents look at it and they were like, what is this? <laughs> 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 they think it's rubbish, it's um, really like low end, it's really cheap, not expensive at all. And since, they, since then, they have referred to my artwork with um, as rubbish artwork <laughs> and I find it to be a really cool label to stick with um, and I also want to talk about my um, sentimental rice jewelry project um, this is a project that I have been working on since 2020 it's my graduate collection project and um, during COVID year a lot of people were you know very stressed um, anxious and my family also become really grumpy, um, including myself. So I, I wanted to you know, use jewelry making as a way to express myself. Um, and one day as I was eating rice kongji, and suddenly this memory um, came to me that when I was sick as a kid, my mom makes me plain rice kongji. It's a healing food to your mind and to your body. So I started using rice as my ingredient to um, do a lot of research and after one year of exploration, I came up with a rice fabric material. Um, so I have been making a lot of jewelry using this rice fabric. And, you know, in 2020, my family was grumpy and then my mom was really angry one day at me because of something. And she told me to die. And um, I was very angry. So I left home for like a few months. I stayed with my friends and you know when those moments when light bulbs suddenly light up and click in your mind? And then that's when I realized what my mom actually means is to die. D-Y-E. Die. <laughs> to dye the fabric. And, <laughs> and that is um, what I have been doing with my rice jewelry. So I have been painting, I've been dyeing my fabric, and that has led me into what into NGV, into Melbourne Design Week, and into a lot of artists in residency opportunities. 
So the lesson here is listen to your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Before everyone kicks me out, <laughs> I want to share some um, electrical wire with everyone here. Um, just take one and pass it around. Thank you. Oh, thank you. That's good. As you are holding this electrical wire, I well, when you have them, um, I want you to trust in your hands muscle memory. Um, as we are growing up, we learn how to do things with our hands a lot. Like, I don't need to tell you to hold a piece of paper, to hold a, a cup. You know how to do it. And you can start working with it now. You can, you know, twist it. You can bend it around your finger or on your neck or on your hair. Um, you can do whatever crazy things with it. Just don't poke people's eyes. <laughs> um, and this material is so moldable. And this is what I have um, discovered with working with different material is about um, finding the potential and the value. Mm. If you can turn something that is going to the waste into something beautiful like a piece of jewelry, uh, artwork, then you can also find something valuable within yourself. I like to think that we all have, we all have a lot of potential in ourselves and it doesn't matter what age you are in, um, what gender, what cultural background, we have a lot of potential. And as we grow older, become adults, you know, like 50 years old, 70 years old, we become so fixed with this idea that we cannot learn or we know how things should be what they are like. And we learn to set a lot of goals and we achieve them and we simply forget to have fun and just play. And you know that as kids, you know, like those um, seven years old, like two years old, three years old, they know how to play. They create a lot of beautiful, wonderful things. So this is the lesson I would like you to take with you tonight. Um, to just have fun and play. Life is our playground. So thank you very much. Woo! Thank you so much.